been so good to me. I guess every one of us, we have to say thank you, Lord, because it's been so wonderful to us. It's one of the things that that's the reason we're here to praise him. Yes. Because it's been so good to us. Yes. I don't have no regret. I don't have no complaint. Because it's been so good to me. I thank the Lord for that. And one of the reasons, like I say, I'm here is because I'm thankful. Yes. For the thing that I received from the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm not a young man anymore. But I thank the Lord that I can still have my mind. Yes. I can still do the things that I want to do. Yes. Yes. And that's just only because of him. Yes. Brother Molo, you see, is not here. And um, let's pray for Brother Molo. He's down in Fort Lauderdale right now. With a few ministers in there, there are a few of them. They want to see Brother Molo. Yes. And they want to hear from Brother Molo. And he's doing a tremendous work down there with his people, our brothers. Sir. Because they're going to come in into the convention and they're going to fill this place. I believe just by themselves. That's the reason we're going to model, not the reason only. But to get these churches together yes. in unity. Yes. Because we need that. And the time that we leave, we need this unity more and more. Not only from the outside, but from right here and the inside. We need to have all the ads into the side and try to understand what is love one to another. And giving your life for the Lord is necessary. I thank the Lord tonight. Thank for all of you that are here, making a sacrifice to be here. This cold weather doesn't help anyone. We are not used to this kind of weather. Some people, they say, I'm so pleased to see this cold weather coming in. I will praise the Lord for that. It's all right. I come out of New Jersey a few years back, and me and Brother Les, we know what cold that is over there. And I don't want to go back. I feel blessed of the Lord to be here in Brady. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I feel blessed of the Lord to be in Brady to God. Yes, the Lord put me here many years ago, and I'm still here. Yes. Let's pray for Brother Mauro, Brother Bernard, and Brother sure. Lewis there at Fort Lauderdale. And he will be back tonight, I can guarantee you. Two or three o'clock in the morning, probably we'll be just pulling in in the house. He so said we'll be here tomorrow, all day tomorrow. So let's pray for Brother Mauro, Brother Bernard, and Brother Lewis. Praise God, yes. We got Sister Michelle Eason in Blake Memorial Hospital from 347. She has a heart problem. The sugar was so high that the heart is starting to mess a little bit, so they're going to keep it in there for some test that they're going to do on her. We see, it's a mighty night. She needs her with her prayers because she's failing. And God only can keep it up and give her strength so she can come back to the church. I'm glad to see Brother Dean Harris with us. Yeah. He's back in the church tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for that. Sister Beverly Eason, Sister Mickey's mother, she has some a big problem with her legs. She's facing some kind of procedure. And she needs to have medication and care. So let's pray for Sister Beverly Eason. I thank the Lord to have Brother Eric's friend with us in here. I don't have his name yet, but... Brother Chuck Wright, the second time. <laughs> the second time, Brother Chuck Wright. God bless you, my brother. Welcome. Amen. I understand you are kind of familiar with the organ, so later on you can give us a little piece of the organ. And uh, I mean, we will be blessed out of it. Uh, the first thing I want to do is just call everyone in your mind and your attention. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. This weekend is going to be the greatest weekend we ever had. That's the truth. It's up to us. That's the truth. We want to have the greatest weekend. Let's call upon the Lord right now. Let's ask Him to give us the greatest service that we ever have. And God will come down and bless us to all of us. 
Let's stand up in our feet and let's go before the Lord in prayer. I guess you first one that can't get up, get up on your feet. And call upon the Lord. All the petitions that we have. Lead the Lord and pray for one another. Jesus, Jesus, we come before your presence, Lord. We know all the needs that we have among the church. People has been sick, nursing at home. Jesus, I ask you to come this very moment and bless the church with the covering of God up on every soul that is in this building. Especially with the model brother in arms and brother Lewis and Fort Lauderdale. Bless the meeting in Fort Lauderdale, whatever they are, Lord, meeting the pastors. Give them a good service, Lord, where they can rejoice in the Lord. And Jesus, I ask you for this weekend and I'm here praying. Bless the people of God. Bless every soul there in this building. Today, tomorrow, all day. We ask in you, Jesus, in the name of the Lord, our God and Savior. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for your blessing. Thank you for coming to us. I praise you, Lord Jesus. I thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. I believe all the petitions God will answer our prayer. But everyone that is in need, those ones that are saved. Sister May is facing some procedure next week. Let's pray for Sister May. We need our prayers, and the Lord is going to take care of that. Sister Mama, let's sing a little song. We receive our offering. And it's something that we need to uh, be very uh, mindful of what we have to do tonight. Every one of you, if you got a special offering for the convention, if you got your tithe and your offering to the church, we want to raise up the offering because the time is so close. And for what I understand, it's a lot of more people that we thought from Miami and Fort Lauderdale, they they're going to come. So we need all the effort possible that we can put to help for this convention. We need some money, definitely we do. So I want to put it in your heart. This. Give it whatever the Lord got in your heart. And give it without regret because God will bless you for whatever you do for the church. God will bless you. So let's come and give whatever the Lord put in your heart. Thank you. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done. 